Here's something that you cannot learn quick enough. You have this idea in your mind, everybody does, that there are fairy tale endings. It is a result of Disney and also just pretty much laziness. Everybody thinks that once they attain their goal, I'm guilty of it, I am still guilty of it today, that after that, everything's going to be solved and you're going to have no problems in life and you're going to level up and all of a sudden you're just going to become a big Mario. But that is not how the world works. And it shouldn't either. What should be happening ideally in a world where you are crushing it is that once you have created a basic level of competence in life, you then level up into being more competent and you keep expanding how competent you are. Now, when I say competent, people always say, oh yeah, well, you know, you're flawed in this way and you're flawed in that way. Yes, that's definitely true, but much less flawed than people that don't try and practice expanding their level of competence in life. And also, I'm talking about competence in a particular field. I'm talking about getting specialized, becoming an expert. But once you are the leader of your field, what do you continue to do? create more innovations. You are just at a level where you know where the innovation should be. That really is being an expert. It's just like, I know everything about this subject and I know where it needs to go from here. This is even when you speak to people like historians and they say things like, I'm just wondering about the ancient Greeks and uh, I think there really is time for writing an entire book on the type of quills they used but that's what they're talking about because they know the subject so deeply that they're like, okay, well, I think that we can gather together things from archeological samples of this and this might lead on to some discovery later on down the line here. That's what they're doing. That's what you should be doing in your respected field. You should always be aiming to expand as soon as you start to feel complacent. And this is just even with day-to-day -day life. Once you start feeling like, all right, I'm bored, I'm starting to look on the net again, what do you do? You get up, you do some exercises, you go out for a walk, you come back refreshed. When you cannot handle it anymore, you change your state, you start moving, you start, because your whole life, I think, should just be an integration between these three things, three things, mind, body, and spirit. It should be an integration of those. So when you start feeling that your mind is overworked and that it is starting to drift, that's when you should start exercising your body. When your, when your body starts to feel tired, that's when you should go down and relax and you should meditate and then the cycle continues because you are refreshed in every regard and you will feel healthier as a result. And the expansion there is getting better at recognizing, okay, I need to go for a walk now. Okay, I need to stop going for a walk and I need to reset my body. Okay, that's enough resetting that cycle. There's the specialization there. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying expansion. There is an idea that this is how good I was yesterday. This is how I'm going to be better today. You keep doing that for the rest of your life. You will be shocked at where you are from this age to age 60. If you do not do it by the time that you are 60, you know when you meet those old people and they're very bitter, they're very insular and they're dumb and they're dumb in a way that young people aren't dumb. They know a lot of things because they've been around for so long, but the way that they look at the world is so slanted, it's so skewed in one specific way that was not helpful. And as such, being around them is draining to a level where it's just because what has really happened is 40 years of false information or unhelpful information, let's say, and that has left them crusty. It has left them with a brain that has rotted Conversely, you meet a 60 year old that has been learning for the last 40 years, has been pushing themselves for the last 40 years. What do they like to speak to? Phenomenal. Such a bank of wisdom, such a bank of very specialized knowledge, so engaging. They have learned many, many lessons because they were looking for those lessons. That's what I'm talking about when I say expansion. And I'm also talking about it for the extremely serious motive of expanding this channel. Uh, that's because I just noticed recently, I'm like, yeah, look, I can't really go any further on this by myself. And because of the membership, thank you so much for all the members of Jordan Shanks. See, there's two benefits to this. It's not just the benefit of you getting specialized information that I've been learning for the last 10 years behind a paywall that will unlock the keys to success in whatever you want to do in life. That's the smallest investment you'll ever make, ever. So much cheaper than a cup of coffee these days. They, they cost like six bucks fifty now. This is if you want to get two videos that are just going to give you BAM! Wisdom injection. BAM! 
very specific little trick that you can do to instantly make yourself what? Twice as productive? That's gonna help for the rest of your life. That is all behind that paywall. You can sign up today. But for the other people, I have to say, if you think that you can help this channel expand, and that is all I'm going to give you because I want to see what you can add to this, I want to start building a small team around this channel because I truly believe in its message. I truly believe in two things. I believe in bettering society by making it understand itself through jokes and also by just basically educating people about a basic political system, obviously using jokes as much as possible. I think that that is a very good way of getting people to pay attention and learn and also it's just my art in life. And it's a great thing, that's what I'm always talking about. You should be always trying to synthesize all the things that you are good at with what you can offer the planet. I think that that is one aspect of it, but I think the other aspect obviously is the more people know about self-help, the better. The more people know about the keys, the manual of how their brain works, the keys that will make them be their best self, you will have a lasting impact on this world. When I go to every Tony Roberts seminar ever, and when I go into his seminars, you see and you look around and obviously there's two types of people there. There are the board housewives of doctors and they're just like, oh, I don't know what to do with them. Like, they're like, I don't know, just start an online clothing business, honey, here's 10 grand to go there. But then there's the other people that feel like they owe it to be there, like me, that that man's information plunged me out of a dark, poor place and put me into a productive member of society that changes governments. That was because of that man. That's the impact of self-help. Even if the message doesn't seep through to the, a thousand people that watch it, I think out of every thousand people that watch it, if you inspire one to make a huge impact on the planet, brilliant. That's the mission that you could be a part of, where we could all integrate our skills together, but I need you to tell me how you think you could help this channel expand, how you think you can add value. One that I think would be very... Helpful might be an editor, so if you want to be an editor, for instance, maybe you should just clip some of these parts of this video and turn it into a self-help video that you think is going to be engaging. And as such, maybe I'll hire you. Maybe I won't. If everybody sucks. Level with me? Did we suck? I don't know. Did you? Might not. And obviously, because we've got limited resources on this channel, it's going to be an ever-expanding mission. But in the meantime, I want you to send what you think you can offer to the link below. And I want you to sign up to Jordan Shanks if you don't think that you can offer shit so you can get to the point where you can offer shit to me specifically, to make me more famous. But also, if that's not your path in life, whatever, just, you know, what you think you can do in life, you will be able to do it better if you understand the concepts of self-help and they are drilled into your mind on a repetitive basis. So, if you think that you can help, if you think that you can offer value, if you think that that is something that will give your life some form of direction and meaning and will be able to be utilizing your skills to a bigger cause that will give you a sense of fulfillment that you ask anybody on the Friendly Geordies team, you know? We've had our ups, we've had our downs, but they all feel like they're adding to something bigger and that is worth more than anything. I'll tell you this now, any interview that you ever read about billionaires, apart from a few select few of them. And I'm guessing Elon Musk would be one of the rare exceptions of that because he's got it in his head that he's doing things to improve the world. But a lot of billionaires don't feel like they're doing anything to add to the community and they are miserable and they get in this cycle of thinking, I'm just going to expand this tumor and I'm going to make more and more money for nothing. For no I do not feel like I'm contributing to society whatsoever. And as such, they have miserable lives despite the fact that they are billionaires. After about $100,000, money doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't actually help your life at all. I know this from personal experience. Once you hit that mark and you are able to afford basic things and you know pretty much just able to afford like some luxuries in life, it doesn't actually help. What it does help is when you are able to utilize it to contribute to something. Anyway, this is all just a short way of saying, if you think that this is something that will help you personally expand, hit me up.